Hi, I'm John Connolly from Joe Tech Laser Canada. Welcome to Tech Corner. Today we're going to look at how to determine which filters are clogged on your quattro exhaust system and how to troubleshoot the issue. To determine where the blockage is from, we're going to turn the power of the unit on. And then we'll re remove the hose from the back of the system. So we just loosen the hose clamp off and remove the hose from the back of the unit. Now at this point I have the unit on, I want to put my hand over the back of it to feel how much flow there is coming through. This unit here is quite reduced, so I don't feel very much airflow at all coming through where my hand is right now. So we need to determine where the blockage is on this unit. First step is to start removing filters in order of uh, how large the particle size is that they trap. So in this unit here we start with the bag filter in the back, and then once that is removed and we don't see any increase in pressure, then we move on filter by filter until we increase it, the airflow at the back of the unit. So the first filter to check on this unit is the bag filter at the back. We'll undo the two latches, open the door, we'll pull this out. Close the door, turn the exhaust back on and see if there's any difference in the amount of airflow. I'm feeling considerably more airflow now that that bag is no longer in the system. So we, we know that that bag is pretty well plugged. I'm going to check one more filter to see if there's any further increase in pressure positive. The rest of the filters in this system are down from the top, so we have to remove it. We can see on this unit that the pleated filter is not nearly as dirty as the bag filter was, and that's normal to see. Uh, but it does still catch particulate, it's just a smaller particle size, so it doesn't soil it as quickly. So we'll remove it. And again, we'll put the top back on and try the airflow again. So we checked the airflow again, and I noticed on this unit that there wasn't any appreciable difference after I removed the pleated filter, so we know that the problem really lies just in the bag. And that's pretty typical because that catches the largest particles. If we did notice uh, an increase, then we would look at changing the pleated filter and the bag. And if we still don't have enough pressure, then we move on to the HEPA filter, which is next. This is the HEPA filter here. This is sort of the last line of protection before we get to the carbon filter. And to remove it, we just pull up on the two little loops here. We see a bit of discoloration on this HEPA filter, but it's not too bad, all things considered. So in this case, I really don't think it's a problem to, to leave it in the unit. Uh, as the, the filters become dirtier, you'll notice that the top side will become dirty, but the bottom side of the HEPA should always be clean. If you ever break through the HEPA filter, that means that there's no filtration happening any longer and all the particulate is getting down into the carbon where it will likely contaminate the carbon and it will need to be replaced as well. This is the carbon unit here. This houses, uh, depending on the size of your exhaust system, up to uh, 35, 40 pounds of carbon. This lifts straight out of the unit. And to replace the carbon, you have two options. You can either replace the entire unit or you can remove the two screws on both sides, lift off the lid, pour out the old carbon, and pour new carbon in reassemble and put it back in the unit. So now that we've determined that it is just the bag that's our problem on this particular exhaust, we can go ahead and we can put the rest of the filters back in and we'll put a new bag in this place. So everything goes back in reverse order. Epic goes first. Next is the pleated filter. It's important to look at the arrows on the side of this. They indicate the airflow. Airflow is down through the filter stack. So it is actually opposite to the uh, Quattro label on the side of the filter. We'll put our lid on. Your lid will have screws holding it down. We just don't have them on for display purposes here. Okay, we'll put the new bag into the system. The rubber seal here goes up onto a white pipe on the inside of the exhaust system here. It's important that it's pushed all the way up. That way you get a proper seal. The airflow will push the bag open, so don't worry about it if it looks a little bit scrumpled up in there. So, all the new filters are in. We're ready to test this. We have good strong airflow again, so it's ready to go to work for us. The same steps we just outlined can be used on our uh, larger SPH835 exhaust system, like this one here, or on our smaller SPH426 system. 
well. The 426 does not have a bag in it, so it goes straight to the pleated filter, then the hat button, and the carbon. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any comments, please type them in the comments area below.